Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can take your old Valheim worlds, yeah, the first ones you played on, that you stopped playing on because of the Mistlands update, you can actually update the areas that you already explored. It's really, really cool. You'll need to download this Upgrade World mod, and then run it once. And then, you can get rid of the mod. So, all you need to do is install Bepinex, and here you're going to paste the Valheim Upgrade World DLL. This is the only file in the mod. Then, go to the area, <laughs> just so you can watch, basically. Place a workbench near any structures that you don't want ruined, because they might have something spawned in them, they might suddenly be underground or above the ground, in which case they'd get destroyed. And after that, open the console and type upgrade and then mistlands. Don't type mistlands world gen, just upgrade mistlands. And then press enter. All this stuff's going to show up, and you can actually modify these things, but I'm only going to show you what you need to know. All you have to do is type start and then boom. Look at that. It's happening right before our eyes. And boom, we are done. Look at that. So we are now in the regular mistlands. I know it's kind of hard to tell because I'm in the middle of the mist without any items. But you could see that we had all of the old world gen stuff there before. And now this is just like mistlands on a regular server. Even though... It had already been filled because we'd explored it prior to the Mistlands update. And this can be used in many, many, many different ways. You can also use this to reset the mountains. All you have to do is type upgrade and then mountains, caves. Because remember, when the mountains first came out, came, <laughs> came out. <laughs> when the mountains first came out, the caves weren't part of it. The frost caves hadn't been included yet. So if you explored mountains back in the day, then you have all of these mountains that you got silver from, and there's no frost caves everywhere because you explored all the mountains looking for the silver. So you can do the exact same thing that I just showed you with the Mistlands, except with the mountains. And it's going to redistribute the mountains to have the frost caves. Really, really awesome stuff. And don't worry about this bug saying that the game is, or the mod is broken. It says that, but obviously, as you see, it, it just worked. I just used it. It's fine. And I've, I've tested this. As far as I know, it's working reliably. Please check out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated server. It's going to be a great way for you to enjoy Valheim, Valheim Ashlands, with your friends. I have a feeling Ashlands is really going to be fun to play with other people. Because it looks like it's a more combat-focused area. And that is going to be awesome! Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.